Here we go! Let's go! Oh, look at this beautiful place. Welcome back, guys, to my Let's Play of Super Mario Galaxy. Oh, oh boy. Excuse me. Part of the road to Super Mario Odyssey. Last time, we pretty much cleared every galaxy in this dome. We cleared Space Junk, Battle Rock, uh, Rolling Green Galaxy. I almost said uh, Flip Switch, but that was the other dome. Um, what was the other one? Hurry Scurry Galaxy and Sling Pod Galaxy from this Hungry Luma. We got 10 Power Stars last episode, so your boy did work. Now we're going to move on to the last galaxy in this game, which is a Bowser level. Bowser's Star Reactor. So we face Bowser every two domes, and we face Bowser Jr. every two domes after the first dome. The Fiery Stronghold. Oh my god, when I first played this stage and heard the music, I literally shut my mouth and just hummed to the song. I knew the tune. Listen. Oh, God. Yes. If they remix Bowser's Road in Odyssey, don't tell me if it does! If they remix Bowser's Road in Mario Odyssey, I am literally gonna orgasm. Because this is one of my favorite songs in 64. The atmosphere and tone was set so well when I heard this song. And now every time I go to a 2D section in a in games like Galaxy, I always think back to more up oh, not Mario, Sonic games and how they do 2D sections. And I just think of how people like complain about them. It's like, okay, Mario actually did do 2D sections right, and look who it is. With the his scales and shiny shell. Let me just grab this. The path is disintegrating. Go! Go, 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 go! Alright, big boy. Bowser G's, look at the size comparison. <laughs> you finally made it! Just in time for me to stomp you into space bits! Mmm! Dun 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 My god! I'm getting- oh my god, the nostalgia right now, holy crap! Bowser's battle theme in this game was so epic. Imagine Odyssey! Some people are already leaking the game, unfortunately. I don't I don't know shit. Don't tell me. Please be a nice person. Please be considerate. Do not be a dick. Those who leak the game are scum, but those who share and spread the leaks and spoilers are far worse than scum. Please tell me you guys know what I was referencing. Otherwise, I'm a weeaboo. Although it's actually a mainstream anime. And I always love when the chorus kicks in when Bowser gets hurt. Like right here. It just sounds so good! I love it so much! Sakurai could have banked on putting a lot more Galaxy songs in the Galaxy stage, like Bowser Jr.'s... 
main theme, the Bowser's fight theme, like Sakurai, you put Fiery Flotilla in Bowser Jr.'s trailer, but you don't put it in the actual game? What is wrong with you? What? How? Foolish Mario, my plan is too far along now. You really think you could stop me? <laughs> How does he do that? Magic. Bowser does inhibit magic, magical powers, by the way. I mean, I don't know if it's fire breath is magic, but it seems natural for being a dragon turtle. But we got another grand star. I just love listening to the music in this game, I'm sorry. <laughs> Please tell me I'm not alone. It gives you guys the chance to just immerse yourself in the game. We already unlocked four new galaxies. You rescued another Grand Star, and Powers returned to another dome in the back of the observatory. Hmm, but I still don't think we have the star power we need to fly the observatory through the universe. The villain who kidnapped your special one took her far from here, to the center of the universe. Once our star power is restored, the observatory will be able to go there. Then you can reunite with your special one. Some of my subs who told me that they saw the spoilers- It's so hard! Hey god, I know! They couldn't help themselves, so they saw the spoilers. Thank- Thankfully! They're the real MVP- Wario Land Gold Pyramid! Uh, uh, god damn it, I can't think of anyone else up to- That's the only guy that comes to my head, because he's- like the most recent guy I can think of who said this, but he he's he's considerate enough to not spoil it for me. All I could say is that the game's full of surprises, and I'm just like, please, that's why I don't want the game spoiled. It's like, don't give those surprises away. That ruins the point of a fucking surprise. You get what I'm fucking saying? I'm kind of getting mad because a part of me actually was spoiled, and it's just like, fuck, fuck me right in the ass. God damn it. But like I said, I I think there's a way I could forget it through the poison swamp. I mean, if I just if I just focus on something else other than Odyssey, like if you do get yourself spoiled, like like okay, I'm I'm, I'm gonna say right now, it's like I'm contradicting myself, but I'm trying I'm trying to be in denial just to forget. <clears throat> like I didn't get any spoilers, thank God. But in case I do, in case I do, just. Like, you try not to think about it too much, you try not to worry about it too much, because if you just worry about trying to forget it, you're, you're, you're stuck with thinking about it so much. And I mean, the kind of, like, what I'm thinking right now, it's, it, it seems, it doesn't seem that likely. I'm not, I'm not getting into it because, it's just, nah, nah, just, I'm gonna shut my mouth. But this... This galaxy's gimmick is these giant bubbles. Mario can jump into one. The c your cursor becomes a little air blower, so Mario can push. You can push Mario along the air and grab star pieces, go along the course. Thankfully, these fans don't pop the bubbles. The game is the game's more forgiving than you think. And for some reason, the game gives you so many coins in this level. I mean, why not? Coins are redundant, I said that in the previous episode, but hey, they're right here for the picking. And you, you, you can't even spin out of the bubble, so you're at least safe for that. Alright, I went the other way for some reason, but hey, that's fine. Alright, I'm gonna go this way, because I think there's a, a giant coin- yeah, 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 this. Only because I'm just getting all the coins. Ooh, baby. Watch. Watch yourself. Fight it! Yeah! Mm. The player has the power. I have the power! Starbits, Starbits, Starbits. 
Nom 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 nom. Rings! Nom 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 nom. That's literally what this is. I feel like there's a way to go back there and just cheat your way, but I'm not gonna risk it. Let me know if people have done that before, honestly. You know what? I'm probably not gonna look at the comments in these past episodes. Like, if I'm s if I don't respond to any comments in the previous episode, I'm saying it right now, just because I don't feel safe anywhere. The only reason I'm going on YouTube is to provide content for you guys, so I'm risking my shit. I'm not going on Facebook, I'm not going on Twitter, I'm not going on Reddit. I'm not safe anywhere. I literally blocked so many channels I like to watch. I mean, hey, if I focus on my schoolwork, then that it's a win-win. Though, just because like I'm going to wait two months to play Odyssey, don't... Do, do not take that as, I'm not going to upload for two months. I'm, I am going to upload. Like, okay, here's 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 basically the game plan I'm working with. I'm going to finish the Mario and Rabbids LP. Uh, it also depends on how much time is left up until Christmas, too. Th that's the only thing at concrete I could give at this time. It's It's really a matter of time right now. Oh yeah, you could ground pound to get out of the bubbles. Oh, there's something back here though. Oh, do I have to hit this? I probably do. What the hell? Go, 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 go. And thank god the bubble increases Mario's radius or circumference. Because you could you don't even have to control Mario to grab these. Music's pretty calm and just not quiet, but it's light. But I mean, you're over a poisonous swamp with a bunch of spike balls. I got another one up. That's pretty rare in this game with coins, especially. Nah, I'm getting all of them. Ooh. Uh. Be careful. Okay, good. Whee. Look at how many coins I got. Like, I told you this level gives out so many regular coins. God knows why. Especially when there's, like, no use. It's no use. Whoops. The one time I get hit, it's right by the power star. Thank God it's over sand. 145 coins. That is that is so unnecessary. Me getting them was so unnecessary. But why did you get them, SMT? I just felt like it. I don't know. I don't know. I just... I don't... I, 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 I don't... I don't know. A thousand star bits. Rosalina's library is now opened. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna make a bonus video on that, actually. We're gonna do Rosalina's Library near the end of this LP. Ooh, Beach Bowl Galaxy. This is a good example of why I believe Mario Galaxy is a true 3D Mario game like 64 and Sunshine, or at least of the, a similar caliber like the expansive, explorative Mario games out there. Sunken Treasure. Because look at this, it's a giant bowl you can explore, go underwater. There is a secret star you can get. Though I think you can only get in the second episode. See, the order of the stars you could get, it is linear, yes. But that doesn't mean every single galaxy out there is linear itself. You could still explore and look at all these different places and everything. Uh, I'm literally... So. The students are distracted by the sparklies! Ah, sparklies! I was about to say, I, I literally blanked on what the mission was. It's like, okay, what was this one again? You could spin underwater to swim faster. Ooh. Okay, that, that's a good one. Uh, let's see. Ooh. Sea urchins you gotta worry about. Clams. The typical Mario enemies you would find underwater in any Mario game, really. So sparkly. Uh. Alright, I'm going here. Open up. Thank you. I love how these actually provide air. That makes no sense. 
These are literally chunks of a star, a launch star, no less. How do these have healing properties? Or revitalizing properties, or anything of the sort. Oh, either that, or, or maybe it's because they were in bubbles. That's probably why. The last one's gonna be in here. No, I was right! Okay, never mind. Yo, what the hell is... What's up with this game and magic pieces and... Crap, I, I don't know if I could have made it up here on my own. I don't know if I needed a launch star. Ah, probably. Okay, I'm not getting that. That's what I'm trying to do. Save some time and effort and money. Ooh, wait, uh, money. I'm not even using money any, like right now. That was quick. And you can kind of see the planet we're going to go to that has the secret star already. Not that one. Alright, it's not going to be in the view, but it was there on screen briefly. You might have seen it. Which, yeah, we could do in the next episode, actually. And we're going to we're gonna find a new power-up, too. A hungry Luma appeared, too. Nah, I'm not gonna save. Keep going. Yeah, I might focus on the main power star in this one, actually. It seems quicker. Passing the swim test. I passed my bio... my zoology quiz. I have midterms coming up, so... <sighs> I mean, I got an 88 on the quiz, so that, that equals a B+, so that's good. For zoology, too, that's... That's literally bio, especially if you're in the class I'm in. Because you, you hear zoology, you think you're experimenting and dissecting animals, which we're gonna do, but so far we've done nothing but draw cells and look into microscopes, which, yeah, it can be fun, but with, after each and every single lab, you're doing that over and over, it gets tedious. For me, it's tedious. You're here to take the swim in school's final swim test? In this test, you must collect shells in the ocean. If you bring me the gold shell, it's an automatic A for you. All right, we gotta find the gold shell. Found it. Go, 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 go. Gimme. I want that A. I could get an A if I have this gold shell. Yo, teach, I got the gold shell. Amazing, I didn't think you'd actually be able to bring it back. That was literally 10 seconds too. Well then, here's a big gold medal for you. Well, that took a while. You see the planet again, and now you don't. Nice job on the test, but are you even one of my students? I literally copped everyone else's A from this class. Mario's such an asshole. <laughs> uh, I, especially to that penguin I stole the shell from. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Passing this one test, 30 power stars. A new galaxy. Well, look at that one, too. We're covering a lot of galaxies in these episodes, and a lot of power stars. I don't... Ah, damn. I feel like I might just want to get the third power star now and just wait till the end to get it. It's, it's this episode you gotta get the secret power star, but this one. The secret undersea cavern. This one's an easy one. Literally an easy one. Literally. Okay, guys, this is literally one of the easiest. Stuff. Literally, you can literally do this in your sleep. Whether you, no matter who you want to think I was trying to imitate in the comments, it's up to you. Could be Leafy, could be Donald Trump. Literally. Can I copy your shell? Uh, eh, I could get my own. There's that treasure chest, but we get to bust this down instead. It probably gives us a, a one-up or life, a life up shroom or star bits, which we're doing pretty good on star bits as it is already. We got bats, we got crates. I'm not gonna bother. Oh, 
We got a tree stump. Oof. Hey. Boom. And we're flying all the way to this planet. Banner, banner, banner. It's like a giant cyclone. Woohoo! Oh, baby! Jesus! Ha! Ha! Holy crap, that was so close! That was too close! Ha <laughs> ha Okay. I almost died. Okay. Shake it off, shake it off. You're good. You're good. Ha! <laughs> ay ay ay. The star is right there. I'm just gonna make it along. Another one up 24. Come on, baby, hurry up. These are. What the? I didn't see that coming. I didn't see that coming. Thanks a lot, game. Make me look stupid in front of my audience. I say this is the easiest game. I died twice. I died fucking twice. SMT's a fraud. You suck. And before SMT sucks at Super Mario games. Oh god! Oh. I literally cemented that point! I fucking cemented that point! It was that light hop I did that killed me. Come on, Thwomp. <clears throat> there we go. Well, that was embarrassing. Whatever. Whatever. Oh yeah, somebody beat my world's record. I'm not too upset about that. I figured that was gonna happen. Cause I had a feeling you could get 23 power moons in that demo. Cause there was another one I was thinking of in the back of my head. I didn't see the video, that's cause of my extension that blocks... ...other Mario Odyssey videos. Did he use... let me know... I'm probably not gonna look at the comments. But did he use Jaxi? Like, did he go in, all the way in the back of the, the kingdom? Cause there was a, a power moon all the way in the back of the kingdom underneath a cactus. I think that was one of them. Fast foe comet in orbit. Okay, these fast foe comets, fast foes on the cyclone stone. It's literally everything sped up. But there's, there's, I'm not even joking, there's two fast foe comets, this being one of them. Another one is in the fifth dome in this game. There, there are not that many fast foe comets. Okay. Whew. You gotta be patient with some of these. It's literally two times faster, so it's not it's nothing really too bothersome or worrisome. Come on. Oh I probably could have made that jump, honestly. Okay. Thank you. Easy, I told you guys. Literally, it was a fluke. The first couple deaths. It was it was, it was literally a jinx. I like, jinxed myself twice, which is never fun. It's it's not fun for me, but it's definitely fun for you guys. <laughs> this happened in the Sonic 3 and Knuckles LP. I, I I'm gonna remember that. I'm gonna keep remembering that. It's like yes. Oh, give me that set of Chaos Emeralds. No. And then I, <laughs> I have to do it again. I love how I do that one in one take. A new chapter's been added to the storybook. I love how I did that comment in one take. Yet it took me three tries to do the regular mission. And yet the comment's supposed to be harder. Okay. Oh, wait. No. I. Th oh, maybe it doesn't matter. Because the treasure chest is going to be there no matter what you do. Alright, going down. Oh, thank you. That was quick. We need this shell. Head this way. Shit, watch yourself. What the? 
He did this weird flip. Okay, uh, okay, let's swerve around like this. That works. Come on, camera. There you go. This treasure chest right here has a launch star. <clears throat> That'll take us to this planet right here. There's a Cataquack right here. They make the return from Sunshine. Let me just grab some Star Bits really quick. Okay. I'm not going to bother luring him here. I could just triple jump. And we have Ice Flowers that can transform us into Ice Mario. Shake the Wii Remote to skate, you can walk on water. That's literally all Ice Mario can do in this game. He can walk on water, which is cool, and he can make ice platforms. But it's not much regarding, like, sheer strength or any crazy power-up. Look how fast we got up here, too. Normally, we would have to take breaks and just bring... Just... Okay, good, 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 good. Just keep, keep coming. Damn it! They come back, don't worry. <clears throat> we just gotta lure the Cataclysm there. But when we're Ice Mario, we can't do our spin as efficiently. Come on, man! I didn't, you didn't even need me to do that for you. Come. Did I go too far? Yeah, there was no way I was going to make that one. Oh, that didn't hurt me? You think this water would hurt me too, since it's kind of chilly. <clears throat> Alright, third time's the charm. Huh? Close. There you go. Thank you. Thanks for the liftoff. Watch the landing, Luigi. It's the liftoff that got me! Did anyone see that Mama Luigi collab with like 255 animators or something like that? They reanimated every single individual scene of the Mama Luigi episode from the Super Mario World cartoon. That is literally one of the best collabs I've seen in all of in all one of the best videos I've seen in all of 2017 and just one of the best collabs period. It was so good. Ooh, Buoy Base Galaxy. Buoy Buoy. I think it's pronounced Buoy. The Floating Fortress. See, I'm not gonna do that. There's a secret star in this world. And it's not the same as every other secret star. It's a giant bowl. Now this is literally a giant bowl. We're gonna have to... Let's take a dive! An aquatic mine. Once was a cold pit, but now it's a water ride. This could, eh, not that. Eh, never mind. I was gonna say it could be like an aquatic mine, but not. I, I retracted that. It's like technically not. If we go in this pipe, we just gotta guide this torpedo bill. It'll literally suck us in. It's a whirlpool. It's like a drain. And we're on the underside of this, this whole planet. And if you can already see within the cage, there's a power star in there, but it's green. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. No. Get away. Nice, in one take. Who remembers these from Galaxy 2? Ooh, boy. There's only th I think there's three green stars in Galaxy 1. And we got one of them. Oh, I just remembered the other galaxy in that dome, actually. Okay, so it's a good idea that I saved it for the next episode. The secret of Buoy Base. 
Just, just rack up on star bits. You rescued a green power star! These stars have a special power! Ask the green lumas about them. After all, they will transform into green power stars someday. What they take- what those do is they transform into a sling star to take you to that planet up there that takes you to three different galaxies. And they're supposed to be hard. Mr. Mario! Check it out, I'm a mail toad and I have a letter for you. Dear Mario, I'm in a faraway place, but I'm alright because you're coming to rescue me. I hope this gift will come in handy. She literally sends you five one-ups. Which, yeah, it's helpful when you boot up the game, but... It's helpful for me right now, because I'm doing this in one sitting, but still, that's the library, by the way. But back to what I was saying about the green stars, it takes you to three different galaxies, it's a lot like... It's a lot like the gal- like, the single Power Star galaxies, whether it be a Hungry Luma or in the domes. But they actually are supposed to be harder. Alright, we'll get to you, Hungry Luma, but first I want to get to... <coughs> The main Power Star of Bowie Base Galaxy. I'm, I'm, this might be the last Power Star in this episode, now that I think about it. It's already coming now to be a pretty long episode. <laughs> pretty long? SMT. Do you even remember your Sunshine LP? That is true. We gotta go back underwater and guide a torpedo bill to... Not the pipe. Come on. Right here. This weight that's holding down the whole fortress. The whole base. God, you things are so slow. And now it is it ascends above water. Oh yeah, another thing about spinning underwater. The more you spin, the more air you lose. You lose it a little bit quicker. Okay. Alright, free star bits. You can't complain about that. But we're supposed to go this way. We have, uh, uh, god damn it. What are these things called again? Ugh, I'm blanking on the name. Oh, you know what? Shortcut. Bitch! Damn, not a second one. I could probably make it up here without him. Ooh, uh, you know what? Whoops. Yeah, I could. I could've. This I could probably do without the need of moving platforms, or I could be wrong, actually. Hmm. Trying to get a little bit creative. Yeah, damn it. I was I was looking kinda good too. Hmm. There's one down here. I don't want I don't wanna descend too much. Yeah, you have to spin those. Okay. And there's the other one. Number four. The music in this place is pretty epic, too. Let's see. Ooh, wee, wee, wee. Okay, it's kind of a good thing I dropped down. Oh, wait a sec. It was on a thwomp. I still had to move it regardless. Alright, I'm taking you. I'm going up here. Jump. Damn. Good thing I didn't get squished. Don't worry, SMT. It's not a Sonic game. Where you could easily get squished between two points and just instantly die. We have sentry beams. What seems to be a lock. Whoops. 
and a screw, which Mario can unscrew with his own two feet. I don't know how or why, but he can. Looky here. Alright, let's get the star. Yeah, I think that'll be it for this episode. We'll do the Hungry Luma in the next episode. Excuse me for being indecisive a lot of the times, not just in this LP. Thank you guys for watching, and be sure to stick around for the rest of Super Mario Galaxy and the rest of the road to Super Mario Odyssey. Stay super.